MSNBC's political analyst and host of the Hugh Hewitt Show on the Salem Radio Network. Hugh, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving, Ali. Good to be here. Hugh, let's talk about uh, Betsy Davos as Education Secretary. The fact that she is a supporter of Common Core, that is going to be a problem with Donald Trump's base. Uh, well, the Common Core issue has split the Republican Party for a long time as to whether or not it ought to be hortatory or mandatory, how you unwind it, unwind it and whether or not it's truly voluntary. And, and the DeVos Family Foundation has been very active in charter schools. She is a huge proponent of choice. And I think that what would combine the appointment of uh, Dr. Carson to HUD and Betsy DeVos to the Education Department would be both are departments that depend a lot in the next generation on adding to the choice of their customers. Choice in school, choice in Section 8 housing, choice drives a lot of the, uh, of the reform agenda for Republicans. So there's actually a, a unity between these two picks today and not just in their diversity. How, how will Republicans going forward uh, now tackle the idea that the, the concept of choice in schools does leave you with a, an unintended consequence of everybody who's able to choose leaving the thing that's worst for them, which tends to be underfunded public education. Well, you know, I'm, I'm on the board of the public charter uh, school system in Arizona, Great Hearts. And Great Hearts has done that by competition, and it actually raises both places. It raises the public charter school up. It raises the traditional elementary and junior high and high school up. Charter schools have gotten a bad reputation within some educrat worlds because they do fear the competition but what actually happens is if people don't flee everybody ups their game and so everybody does win when competition comes into the play all right we want to have a bigger discussion on that one of these days Hugh uh, I need to talk about the other nomination today governor Nikki Haley of South Carolina appointed as UN ambassador uh, are you comfortable with her in that role we're, we're facing with a number of these nominations including the idea of uh, that we just talked about a Ben Carson people who aren't particularly qualified for the specific Role. Beyond that, what are your thoughts about Nikki Haley as uh, UN ambassador? Oh, it's a terrific pick. Uh, look, our most famous UN ambassadors, whether it was Adlai Stevenson, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, uh, Jinker Patrick, they've all had one thing in common, which is charisma. It isn't particularly a resume driven job. It's a job where you have to speak with the president, with the next secretary of state, with our Pentagon leaders, and with our ambassadors, and then represent the point of view of the United States well in the General Assembly and on the Security Council. It is rarely one of those moments that comes along. You have a Cuban Missile Crisis or something like that where you've got to dominate or when General Powell made the WMD presentation before the UN. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I can't imagine uh, many people are as qualified as Nikki Haley. A lot of people thought maybe Rick Grinnell, John Bolton's old uh, spokesperson, would end up there. I still hope that uh, Rick ends up somewhere in the administration. But she's a brilliant governor. She's got a lot of foreign experience. She has a lot of tough in the trenches well, experience. Well, not a lot of foreign experience. I mean, she's the, well, the stuff know, that I, as I governor do actually the deals that you make. I actually count, if you're helping Boeing sell airplanes around the world, I think that counts as international experience. Trade missions count to me, but most important, when you've got a, a husband who wears the uniform and deploys, that's probably one of the most uh, tangible connections to America's role in the world you could possibly have, and she's got that on her resume as well, or at least, I won't say on her resume, in her family. Hugh, we got a lot of news today, but I want to have you back talking about, uh, about uh, vouchers and charter schools and how they can uh, raise the standards of education in general. Hugh Hewitt, always good to see you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.